I'm thinking so strongly of changing this channel name from Jaeger shots to cameras and camouflage from the woods, which is absolutely horrible marketing. Probably as bad as the marketing was that Canon's done on the R5 and the R6. I had a Canon just said to start with a big old asterisk beside that 8K that that recording time would be very, very limited. You might be in a much different situation on the internet right now, for those who don't know. Cameras are reportedly overheating in different situations. Some people, like Cinema 5D, are throwing the cameras on ice. What do you tell your client here? I'm sorry, I have to put an ice cube on the camera. That is not good at all. Oh, look what we've had here. What have we found in the wild? Oh, the wild of the backyard. <laughs> Is that a Canon R5 and R6 that I found out in the wild? It's a brick, which is probably more useful than a Canon R5 and R6 once it starts overheating. Okay, okay, enough comedy hour. I'm gonna make like an R5 or R6 and go try to cool off indoors. I'm only shooting around the home outside because I'm staying in a red zone and I'm not talking football. So for this video, I'm gonna focus purely on the video side with the R5 and the R6 because Canon can make a stills camera in their sleep. Damn sure can't really do that on the video side. That's where all the issues are really coming from so far. Canon need not look any further than their 100 year old competitor Nikon in terms of what to do with the R5 and R6. Granted, that firmware will not fit a large percentage of the issues that these cameras are having right now. I do believe there's a few things that can be straightened out on the codex side. All that's most likely gonna come, but it always comes with cameras. This is always kind of a growing pain thing and early adopters get screwed. So having said all that, the things that firmware can't do are just gonna be on a hardware side, duh. So it looks like these camera bodies are gonna need to become discounted. Not discontinued yet, but discounted like Nikon's done with the launch of the Z6 and the Z7. The prices have come down hundreds. Going into Black Friday holiday 2020, I do look for these cameras to be discounted. I thought they would probably be discounted anyway in some bundles, but most definitely that would be one step in the right direction. There is a company known as Panasonic with the GH5, the GH5S, the S1, and the S1H some, depending on who you talk to, would consider those not really upgrades in some cases, and in other cases, more of a lateral movement. Not moving up, but just kind of moving over, over that away. You're probably gonna have to put some kind of a cooling system on this camera, most likely a silent fan, some sort of passive cooling. Something's gonna have to come out in a little bit different style body. Not a full-blown, Canon R5 Mark II or R6 Mark II. That leads me to the Sony point, which is what they basically had to do because some fanboys might forget that Sony really had a big overheating and battery problem. We're seeing the same issues that the R5 and R6 are having right now. Now, I know that's not really that much of a groundbreaking announcement to put out another camera body, but there's gonna be growing pains. This is not what Canon wanted to really do. They kind of got drugged into the mirrorless system. Whatever the third iteration of their mirrorless bodies are gonna be will be a home run. As much as I like to rag on big corporations, I am a Canon fan. I'm literally using one of their cameras right now to make this video. The past is what's gonna show us the future for Canon to get out of what in their gears of being a company might just end up being a blimp on the radar after all. If you like this video, hit that like button and leave some comments below about what Canon should or should not be doing. And subscribe and never miss a shot from JaegerShots.com.